Hi everyone, this is Olivia. Welcome back to my channel, Crafting with Oli. Today I have a surprise for you. Actually, it's gonna be a surprise for my mom. Uh, I'm gonna be taking these to her and putting them in her graveside. Um, during some storm a couple of weeks ago, everything that I had on her graveside just was blown away. So she, right now she's got nothing. So I'm gonna take these to her. I think uh, they will look really nice because Almost everybody, if you drive by that cemetery at night, everyone's got little solar lights like these. And that's going to look really nice for her. I think it'll cheer, cheer up the area. So I hope you can give it a try, guys. I hope you like my little cute uh, ladybug and bees. Bye. All right, guys. For this project, I'm going to be using two terracotta pots. This was going to be spray painted all yellow, so I didn't have to prep it for anything. And this one is going to be the ladybug. So whatever you see in blue is going to be black. So I just covered it up just for now. And this is going to be spray painted red. So let me go ahead and spray paint these. And I'll be back when I'm done spray painting. Okay, I'm using a red high gloss, majestic red for the ladybug. I'm just gonna... Okay, here are the pots already dry. And uh, I did have to do two coats just in case so you need to know that uh, I just because I just wanted to make sure I had full coverage now for the ladybug it's going to be quite easy because I am just going to uh, paint this top black and this where the hat tape uh, is going to be black and of course the black dots but before I do that I want to make sure I get the head and I'm using this uh, painters tape as reference for the circle and all I'm doing is just going from from this side I'm gonna draw the trace the circle using the the tape as reference to draw that half circle. And I'm just going back and forth so it, it can stand out. Okay, and I'm going to of course paint that section right here black and all of this black with the uh, regular acrylic paint. Now for the for the B, let me just trade these off. I've already done the half circle with the tape okay I already traced it in there and what I'm doing is I'm getting this uh, this ribbon that is one and a half inches and what I'm doing is I'm just placing it on here I'm placing the ribbon at the very edge right there to draw the line so I'll know how how uh, wide I want my uh, stripes and I'm going to start off with yellow here black stripe then yellow then black and I'm going to uh, tape it off I'm gonna put some tape on it on the where I want the yellow to stay and then paint it black and I think I'm just gonna use a regular acrylic paint so I can paint that and uh, that's about it guys I'm just going to continue drawing these stripes around it so I can put the tape and then I'll be back after I'm done painting all these in you know lines the black lines and I'll show you how I do the faces okay just so I can keep my line straight I went ahead and taped it all around uh, and I am going to be the bottom is layer this uh, edge is going to be ye yellow and this is black and what's going to be yellow I already put paint I mean the tape that's going to be yellow black and of course yellow and I just put this much just so I can get that and it is going to need a second coating of paint anyway so I'm just doing the first layer right now of paint and uh, that's about it so just uh Heads up, if you want your lines to be straight, use the tape um, like I did the painter's paint uh, tape. Alright guys, so I'm just going to be going here on this, on this edge. I didn't put tape on this one, but I'm going to just try to use a straight edge brush and see if I can go as straight as possible on the bottom. Okay guys, here I already took off the tape on the black. And I kind of like hand drew in some antennas. I'll be drawing those in a bit. But uh, I want to start off with the eyes because uh, they are going to be painted on. So I just want to make sure that 
that they take time to dry because you've got to do it in two steps. First of all, you start off with the white. Um, this is the first time I actually do these type of eyes, guys. So just bear with me if they don't come out as good as I want them to. I saw somebody make eyes like this and I thought they were really cute. So I said, I think I want to use those. So I'm just using these sponges real quick. Uh, circle sponges. I got these at uh, the Dollar Tree. So and I see little bubbles there, but it's coming from the sponge. So I'm going to do that on the ladybug and on the bee also. Same type of eyes. Hopefully those bubbles will go away. I will be covering them up with black anyway, so it's just to get the circle, the round circle. That's what I'm using the sponges for. So while that is drying, I'm going to be doing the other things. Let me see here, my paintbrushes are right here. I'm going to be doing the the antennas. So let me go ahead and get started here on this one. I'm just getting a thin brush. And then just tracing the antennas. I already had done done them in there with a pencil. And uh, it worked perfectly right here that I have the yellow area right there. For the antennas to go right in that area. Alright, I'm just trying to draw as good as I can, as evenly as I can, and as you can see, sometimes you have to go back in with a second coat because uh, since I did spray paint this, uh, the spray paint doesn't doesn't take the paint as easily. So I I will come back and just redo that after this dries. I'll come back in again. Let me draw the other one, and again, it's always the same how one side will always come up better than the other. It's like when you're doing your eyes, your eyebrows, one is always better than the other. I don't know. If for you all, that's the fact, but for me, that's the way it always is. One eyebrow is always better than the other. So, I guess uh, my antennas are going to look the same as much as possible. Okay, now let me do the black on the ladybug. The same thing. I'm just I already had drawn penciled in the line here. I'm just going to trace it with the black. Try to stay as straight as I can. The steady hand. And then the V section here. go up there and uh, as I mentioned in the beginning I these are going to be going into my my mother's uh, graveside um, about two three weeks ago uh, down there in the valley uh, where I'm originally from in Texas South Texas um, we had like a, I don't know what it was, like a hurt, tornado kind of winds that were like 60, 70, 80 miles an hour winds. It, it really destroyed a lot of stuff and, and, uh, the things that I had taken my mom were lost. The, the, the wreath I made her, the cross macrame wreath it's gone i guess the winds must have blown it away or something i don't know but when we went to go visit her nothing was there so i decided to make these and uh put a little lamp lanterns in them they're going to look really cute at night i'm sure she used to love those little solar lights she would have a whole bunch of them on her yard when you go to her house at night you see her her yard lit up with all these little solar lights 
so that's why I'm, I'm going to be using these for solar light holders to keep them in place so they don't fall off or what have you and with that storm was terrible I tell you uh I was I live in a mobile home down there in the valley and when the winds came they were going 60 70 even 80 mile gust winds and uh, I could feel my mobile home shaking it felt like it was going to just fly off the ground it was real awful uh, nothing really happened no damages uh, just the, the fence the gate was blown off its hinges but nothing really major. There was a lot of other people who had a lot of damage to their property. Their trees were uprooted. I mean, huge trees that you could tell have been there for 50, 60 years. Totally uprooted from the ground. It was really bad. Okay, I'm checking to see if my eyes are going to be dry enough for me to go ahead and do the second step. Maybe the the antennas over here are going to be dry. I didn't use that much paint. So just to fill in, you can see some of the yellow still. So I'm just going to fill in that spaces where you can still see yellow. I don't know if any of y'all have ever been through any storms like that, but that was really scary. I was in there with my brother in the mobile home and and he he was really scared <laughs> the lights went out and everything and and the picture frame fell off of the wall that's how bad the those storm was the winds and uh we didn't know what had fallen and he's like it something fell and i go what what is it and he goes i don't know but something fell i used my phone light the light on my phone to see what it was and yeah it was a picture frame that was on the wall had fallen Scary situation. I can use some of uh, these baby wipes. If you need to take off some paint, you can take it off real quick. If it's still wet, you can still, you're still able to take it off. I think I went a little bit crooked there. Let's see if I can straighten it. But oops, looks like I messed up this one over here. There. Well, I think I'm gonna try the black on that on the eyes. And what I did with this one, this one was the same size as the other one. This one. And what I did is I trimmed it with the scissors to make it smaller. So I can do the center circle. So that's what I'm going to do now. And hopefully it turns out good, guys. Fingers crossed that it works. <laughs> All right. Let's see. i got to even it out in here. Make sure right in the center. And press it in. I think I need a little bit more paint on this side. Okay, guys, just make sure you leave the eyes to dry. If you have a, dry, a dryer, you can do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and leave that to dry. I'm going to now go on to the antennas of the ladybug, which I should have done instead of going to the eyes. But I was being a little bit uh, <clears throat> anxious with that. I should have waited. I knew the paint wasn't dry all the way. So I'm just going to work on the, hunt, on the ladybug while the antennas are until the eyes a little bit more dry than what they are right now so let me do the other antenna which is probably not going to come out as nice as the first one <laughs> but it'll do guys right i think it's okay it's a little wobbly i hate it when they don't come out the same 
it's the left hand. The left one came out good, but the right one, no. <laughs> okay, the antennas are pretty much done. Now I'm going to get another sponge circle that I, uh, again, it came in the set that I got from Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to dunk this and make sure that all of it is soaked in and I'm going to do the dots for the ladybug so I'm going to do one right here I didn't press it all the way in there oops let me turn it over so you can see it more better and let me get some more paint for the next dot Just make sure it's soaked good I'll put it about right here. I'm just gonna be turning it around while I put the dots on it. And the paint I'm using is gloss, uh, appleberry black. Uh, I like to use gloss, guys. Uh, I like Chinese. Uh, Almost everything I got, I like to get. I like to get it in gloss, high gloss. Get some more. More paint for another dot. I just about right here. And just keep in mind every time you're gonna do another dot get some more paint don't try to use the same dabber until uh if you're not it's not gonna be enough paint is what i'm trying to say all right i'm gonna continue making more dots guys on this and i'll be right back okay i'm done with the big polka dots now i'm gonna go back to the eyes and see if this time it does work and just double check that i have enough paint on my dabber here and try to center it okay i think it looked a little bit much better this time it worked better than the first time i did it and now the next time okay and then this one Okay, I'm gonna let it dry because I am going to put a little dot in the centers but as that's drying I'm going to go ahead and decorate my oh, the head I'm, I'm gonna put some pearls on it on both of them so I'm just going to put a little dab of glue here get a string of pearls and I got this uh, at Hobby Lobby these little string of pearls if you need to find some they're at the where they sell the wedding stuff for the his and her section that's where I bought these pearls they come in a bit in like a ribbon style roll Just to give a little extra different definition to the to the head of the of the ladybug, I'm gonna do the same thing with the bee. Also, I want to put some pearls on it too. I'll be right back, guys, when I'm done with this section here. All right, guys, I'm done with the ladybug. Now I'm just doing the the bee, doing the same thing, just putting little pearls on it real quick here to make it look cute I'll be right I'll be right back guys let me just get this done okay they each have their their pearls and now I'm going to put their flowers and uh, I always associate bee uh, ladybugs with 
sunflower so I'm going to put her little sunflower on her head here and of course the bee gets a daisy and she's going to get it right here on her head okay almost over I'm going to finish the eyes now and uh, to get the eyes all I need to do is just get the back side of a of the a small Uh, paintbrush and I'm just going to just put real quick a little dot right there and a little dot right there same thing to the other one let me do the same thing just got a little bit more paint so I'll just put the little dots one there and one there now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the same brush that I just I was using very thin and I'm going to put a little eyelashes on my little little insects here and I'm just going to start from the white and just drag it out and draw some little eyelashes on there that side and this side oops again the left the right side never comes out as good as the left I guess that's as good as it's gonna get guys. I think it looks cute anyways. Let me do the same thing with the B. Put some eyelashes and you really can't see it that much because of the it's on the yellow, but it's okay. They still get eyelashes and uh, of course a smile. I'll put a white smile on her here and just put a little a little curve. I hope it came out good. Alright, that's good. Let me get the black for the for the B. See if I can get a good smile on this one. Too much paint. And it'll curve. Well, I think that's as good as it's going to get, guys. I hope you all liked my craft today. And um, it's going to look really nice when I put it on my mom's gravesite. Let me put the... These, I got them at the Dollar Tree. And uh, you can put them in the ground with a stake. But I'm just going to do is just pop them on the top. And that will hold them. And, of course, uh, the sun will charge them. And... Um, they would look nice on the gravesite. I hope y'all like these guys. I think they came out pretty cute. Right? Uh, uh, let me turn them over. Bye. I appreciate y'all being here with me, guys. Let me just take my mess out of the way here. And I hope you can give it a try. Uh, just put them on the porch will be even to light up your porch or your steps, whatever you want to put them on, I think they will turn out nice. Thank you for being here with me, guys. I really appreciate you. And I'll see you later.